And it looks like we've got a man on first now. So we can take a look at all the action with MLB.TV, where you can watch live with your choice of home or away announcers. So the first thing you'll notice is that baseball looks absolutely amazing on this screen. And now we can enhance it with great live data from MLB.com, like the scoreboard, the field, the box score, and player cards all while you watch. So let's take a look. Is Rowan hits a high drive, left field, out of here. So we really think this device with its big interactive display allows us to create a really rich, immersive, interactive experience for fans to enjoy the national pastime. Thank you. Well, I for one know that uh, instead of carrying a transistor radio into the backyard uh, to listen to baseball, I'll be taking my iPad in this app. Now, we really are incredibly excited about the opportunities for developers to build amazing apps for the iPad. And we're providing an SDK today to let developers get going on that. Now, while we wait for those apps to come out, we can all run all of our existing iPhone apps unmodified right on our iPad. And that is the app story for the iPad. Steve. That's great. Thank you, Scott. Isn't it awesome? And these guys only had two, two and a half weeks to work on this stuff. So imagine what they're going to do in the next few months. People are going to go crazy. So we've seen some really great apps. Let me show you another one of our apps. Uh, that we're very excited about. Of course, that's an ebook reading app. Now, Amazon's done a great job of pioneering uh, this functionality with their Kindle. And we're going to stand on their shoulders and go a bit further. So, this is what a Kindle looks like. I'm sure many of you have used one. This is reading a book on the new iPad. It's really nice, and our new app is called iBooks. Now, iBooks has a bookshelf. Looks like this, where you have all your books. If you want to read one, you just saw what it looks like. It's terrific. You can go into Portrait and see both pages if you'd like. And in addition to having your bookshelf and being able to read books, there's a button in the upper left corner of the bookshelf, which is the store. And we've created the new iBook store fully integrated with the iBooks app to allow you to discover and purchase and download eBooks right onto your iPad. So you can discover books. We've got, of course, our top charts lists, the New York Times bestseller lists, and we've got five of the largest publishers in the world that are supporting us in this and are going to have all their books on the store. And we're going to open up the floodgates for the rest of the publishers in the world uh, starting this afternoon. So we're going to have a lot of books on the bookstore. We're very excited about this. I think it's going to be a great app. So let me go ahead and show it to you. So there's our bookshelf. And Here's some of our books. And probably the best thing is let's go into the store right now. I hit the store button, and it's kind of like a secret passageway. It uh, flips around. <laughs> and here is the iBook store. And if you've used iTunes or the App Store, you're already familiar with this. And uh, we can look at books here. We can look at the New York Times bestseller lists, et cetera. And let's go back here. and. Uh, I want to actually buy True Compass by Edward Kennedy. So I just tap on it. I get more detail about it here. Take a look at the reviews of it. And I'm going to buy it. I get a sample of it to read if I'd like, but I'm, I'm sold already. So I'm just going to go tap on it and buy this book. And the book downloads right onto my bookshelf like that. And that's all there is. It's just so simple. And now if I want to read that book, I just tap on it. And here it is. 
And this is what it's like to read a book. I have some controls. I can just tap in the center and the controls go away, get them back, send them away. And to flip the page, I just flip forward. I tap anywhere on the right, and I flip forward. Flip back, just tap on the left. That's it. I can even flip myself if I want by dragging it, if I'd like, you know. <laughs> Very simple. And uh, I can go to the table of contents here. And um, I can uh, just uh, pick a chapter and go there. I'm going to pick uh, part two, Brotherhood. And again, you can have photos, black and white, or color. You can have video, if you'd like, in your books, whatever, whatever the author wants. It's very, very easy. And this is what it's like. And we can uh, change the font size if we'd like, bigger or smaller. We can change the font. Pick a different font. Whatever you want. And that is iBooks. So iBooks, again, a great reader, a great online bookstore. The iBookstore, all in one really great app. We use the EPUB format, and so it is the most popular open book format uh, in the world. And we're very, very excited about this. We think the iPad is going to make a terrific ebook reader, not just for uh, uh, popular books, but we are also very excited about textbooks uh, as well. Now, something very exciting. I work. A little over a year ago, I asked the head of our iWork team to take a look at creating a version of iWork for the iPad. And the initial reaction was, ah, the iWork apps, Keynote, Pages and Numbers are really heavy duty apps. Uh, they require a lot of horsepower. Could the tablet power them? And the answer turned out to be resounding, you betcha. And then, could we come up with an entirely new user interface for these apps? It's very different than running on a personal computer. And what they came up with was really, is really magnificent. And so to tell us about iWork on iPad, I'd like to invite up Phil Schiller, our Senior Vice President of Product Marketing. Phil? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is really exciting. iWork is a suite of applications that millions and millions of our customers on the Mac truly love. These applications are innovative, they're beautiful, they're creative, they're fun, and our customers at home, and in schools, and in business are able to create professional quality presentations, word processing documents, and spreadsheets, all with this amazing software. And as Steve told you, the iWork team has been hard at work for a year now, seeing if they can take this amazing software and bring it to a multi-touch tablet, the iPad. And I can tell you they've done some amazingly remarkable work. We have a completely new version of Keynote designed specifically for the iPad, where you can create professional presentations just with your fingers. There's a complete new version of Pages. It is the most beautiful word processor you will ever see. And there's a complete new version of Numbers, a spreadsheet that is fun and cool to use. When's the last time someone's told you that? <laughs> and really, the only way to, to appreciate how amazing the software is, is for me to show you. So I'm really honored to be the first to show you the new iWork applications on the tablet. So here we go. I get to sit in the chair. <laughs> Let's launch Keynote. Keynote runs in landscape orientation because that's the way our slides are. Our slides are designed horizontally. And when we launch into Keynote, the first thing we do is we see our slide library. This is a library of presentations that we have created in Keynote.